Born to Scottish immigrants in South Africa, Gordon Murray grew up in Durban, located in the KwaZulu-Natal province, which is located in the east of South Africa. Gordon Murray was influenced by his father a lot, who was a motorcycle racer and later started preparing race cars. Murray went on to study mechanical engineering at the Natal Technical College, now Durban University of Technology. He was made honorary professor in 2002 and was awarded an honorary doctorate in 2011. Between the years 67 and 68, Murray built his own race car, the IGM Ford, and raced it while at it. In 1969, South Africa lost a truly amazing mind when Murray moved to England in the hopes of landing a job at Lotus. Not that I blame him, South Africa only had a handful of individuals and companies giving car manufacturing a try. Essentially, his talent was going to be wasted or overlooked. Murray didn't land his dream job at Lotus though, but was employed by Brabham and was appointed chief designer when Bernie Eccleson took over the team. Gordon Murray went on to design some phenomenal F1 cars and some of them went on to win the Grand Prix Championship. And so these cars included the BT49B, the BT49 and the BT52. Between 1973 and 1985, Murray went on to score 22 Grand Prix wins at Brabham and finished second in the Constructors' Championship in 1975 and 1981. Murray went on to leave Brabram and was offered a job at McLaren by Ron Dennis as the technical director on a three-year contract. Murray went on to play a crucial role in the development of the McLaren's 1984 MP43, which won three races that year, and the car that gave Edson Senna his first driver's championship in 1988, the McLaren MP44, by winning 15 of the 16 races at the Grand Prix. From 1991 to 2004, Gordon Murray dedicated his time to developing what some might say is the greatest car of all time, and it is up there. Murray led the team that developed the McLaren F1 at McLaren Cars. When the F1 debuted, it was a masterpiece. It developed 461 kilowatts of power and 650 newton meters of torque from a 6.1 liter BMW V12 developed specifically for the F1. The F1 held the title for the fastest car in the world for the longest of time, reaching 386 kilometers per hour. Zero to 100 only took 3.2 seconds, which is still insanely fast by today's standards. Murray's follow-up act had to be out of this world to be anywhere close to what he had achieved at this stage. And he opted to establish Gordon Murray Designs and went on to design some underwhelming city car designs, which one might assume were targeted at the Smart 4 too. And could serve as an exercise to develop the technology he needed for his follow-up act. And on August 2020, Murray released the T5 sports car and some might assume that it was the successor to the F1. The T50 is powered by a bespoke 4-litre naturally aspirated V12 developed by legendary car company Cosworth. This engine developed 488 kilowatts of power and revved all the way up to 11,000 RPM and produced 467 newton meters of torque. These ferries don't sound like much, but consider that the T50 weighs only 986 kilograms. The engine only weighs 178 kilograms. This car achieves a power to weight ratio of 501 kilowatts of power per tonne. Mary planned to build just a hundred units of this masterpiece and each unit will cost 4.3 million rands. A T50S was developed and will cost a whopping 5.6 million rands. 
The T50 underwent a diet, losing 134 kilograms of the original weight. It was given a 17.84 cm wide delta wing, underbody aerofoil. Furthermore, a front splitter and adjustable diffusers were added. The power was boosted beyond the 514 kilowatts mark. Murray's simple approach of less is more created timeless designed masterpieces which are like precision tools which excel under the operation of an expert craftsman but in this regard an expert driver which deliver a thrilling and engaging experience which a lot of modern cars fail to do. On the 27th January of 2022, Mary announced the release of the T33, a day-to-day -day supercar built on a totally different platform with the same masterpiece of a power plant that is the 4-litre Cosworth V12 that powered the T50, producing 452 kilowatts of power and 451 Nm of torque, mated to a 6-speed manual gearbox or auto depending on what you desired. Gordon Mary took inspiration from some of his favorite 60s race car designs and don't think that this is a retro designed car. It took cues from these vehicles while clinging on to its modern look. The T33 only weighs 1090 kilograms which is significantly lighter than its competitors. I guess this has become synonymous with Gordon Mary design. Light, nimble, precise machines that can be pushed to the limit while simultaneously enjoying the car without it turning into an uncontrollable beast. Gordon Mary might not reside in South Africa anymore, but is testament to what South Africans are capable of and is a citizen of this beautiful country and we as South Africans cherish the impact he made in the motoring industry. Not only that, but we're incredibly proud of him and that he grew up in this beautiful country and went to school in this beautiful country and started his career in this beautiful country. On a lighter note, don't forget to like, share and comment in the comment section below. Let us know which cars you'd like to see next, which African manufacturers excite you the most and subscribe to our channel. It will help us in ensuring that we become full-time independent content creators and that we can invest 100% of our time into this. Till we meet again, Buffett. Sharp, sharp.